What's up guys? So I just finished up a new plugin that uh, I figured I'd just do like a free release on. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to do a quick little like run through video on how it works and why I think it's useful. So yeah, for starters, I have a rig of eight spots and six washes that I'm just going to use for this quick little run through. So yeah, we'll just get straight into it. So how this plugin works is if I choose a selection of fixtures and I go down and run the plugin, it'll ask me if I have fixtures selected before using this plugin. This is important. Make sure that you do have this or that you do have fixtures selected or else you're going to be making an empty executor. So yeah, uh, we'll hit OK because we have fixtures selected. Then it'll ask us if we wish to continue. Uh, I put this in because I will often forget to make a selection and need to cancel out. And if that happens, then it'll just do this. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll just go back and we'll make a selection with our washes and run the plugin and hit OK. And it'll ask us if we want to create a new queue or if we want to merge queues. So, we are going to return one so that we create a new queue and we will make it a dimmer. And you'll see what this does here in a few seconds and it'll ask us which executor we want. So we'll just stick with currently selected and we'll be going zero through 0.35 seconds and preset name, we'll do 100%. And same thing for the second one, this will create a second queue and then we'll choose release. And cool, and then we'll do that as our name. And that's it. So we'll see on the stage when we run this, it does a quick little delay sweep across the rig. So that's pretty sweet, huh? So here's what we can do. We can actually take a, another selection of fixtures and we can run the same thing. And we can do a merge queue and do the same thing over here and currently selected. And then it'll ask us which queues we want to use. Our first queue will be Q1, and then Q2 for our second queue. And yep, then we'll go through and do delay. Same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. And boom, now I'll go back and look at this. And we got a cool little dimmer delay sweep that goes across the rig. Cool, so now what we can do is, uh, I have this queue over here that I'll just run really quick and it's just blue and everything kind of pointed at the ground. So yeah, we'll go back over here and choose our washes. And let's do stage sweeps, run it, and we'll do new queue. And let's do positions. And let's change the executor to, we are on 1.23 right now, so let's go to 1.24. And let's do, Let's do 0 0.35 through 0.35 to do a little symmetrical thing. And then let's go preset name down. And then let's do 0.35 through 0 through 0.35 again. And let's make that release. And then that'll be our down sweep. And let's call that down sweep symmetrical. And let's see what that does. So that'll run a little position sweep that goes from in to out. And let's uh yeah let's do the same thing with our spots. And boom, boom, and merge queues and position currently selected q1 and two and then it'll be 0 0.35 through 0.35 and down and 0.35 through 0, 0, 0, 0.35 again and release and cool and now we have an in to out little sweep across the rig and this is my favorite one to use just to make little white bumps uh let's choose our wash and let's go stage sweeps and run. And we'll do one new cube. We'll do three color. 
and we'll go 1.25. And let's do 0.35, or actually let's do 0 0.5 through 0. Let's do white, and then 0.5 through 0. And release. And we will change that to W sweep backwards. And then let's do that exact same thing again with the spots. And let's do merge cues, color, only selected, and Q1, Q2. And that'll be 0 0.5 through 0. And then white and 0.5 to 0, and release. Cool. And let's go see what that does. And that runs us a little white bump across the rig going backwards. Cool. So, yeah, everything is working how it should. So let's try this with uh, some other stuff as well. So let's, uh, yeah, let's actually take uh, spots, and let's, uh, the stage sweeps and let's go to yes and let's create a new queue and let's put it at color and let's put it at 1.28 and let's go 0 to 35 is fine and let's actually change this to red and then do the same thing and we'll release there as well and we'll call that Red sweep across, and let's see what that does. Cool, so that'll sweep red right across the rig because what is happening is we are referencing our presets that we already have named. So basically, what I'll do here is I'll just select some fixtures and go over here, go to our color mix, and just hit release on all of them, and I'll be able to create a release preset which is super useful for these stage sweeps. And basically, these uh, this plugin will reference the name of your, uh, of your preset. So I'll just make sure to do my dimmer presets, however they're named, and then also do a release. And natively, this will have a down, and then your 100%, and then white, and then release for your preset types, or your preset names for these. So make sure to either make something named all of those or you can also use your user text input to call or recall whatever preset you would like for these so let's do one more uh example on how i could use this so let's say that we have um i'm gonna make a quick queue uh or i guess yeah quick executor with a couple different queues and then we'll do wash blue. And then so let's see what this Q stack looks like really quick. Just turn that one off. So let's say we wanted to take this plugin and we want to do our washes doing a quick delay sleep delay sweep from that second to third queue or before the third queue. So let's take our stage sweeps, hit OK, hit OK, and let's merge queue. And then let's do we'll do dimmer. And then let's go to 1.20. And we will do Q2 for our first Q. And then let's actually do 2.1 for our second Q. And then just hit through these. And then let's hit OK. And let's see what that does. So if we pull up our Q, there's Q1, there's Q2, then 3. Look at that. So yeah, we just have a quick little 
This will do a follow. It'll set up your follow and your release mode on your uh, initial cues, and it will not do a release mode for your uh, merge cues. So hopefully this video helps and gives you some ideas on how you can use this plugin. And I hope it can be useful for your guys' files or shows or whatever. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and thanks for downloading the plugin. Uh, if you have any issues, just feel free to email me. It'll show up on my website. And yeah, hopefully I can get that work done for you if you have issues. And if you don't, I hope you enjoy the plugin. Thank you for watching.